NASA and the Discovery crew take education to a whole new level, the International Space Station. Teachers in Space, next on Real World. And booster ignition lift off from Space Shuttle Discovery, taking the space station to full power for full science. Math teachers in space. That was the theme of the recent Discovery mission, STS-119. Students from Dunn-Ellen Middle School in Florida were able to see their math and science teacher soar into the heavens aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery. Joe Acaba and Ricky Arnold are two teachers turned astronauts who completed the 28th shuttle flight to the International Space Station. The main goal of this mission was to bring and install a truss containing solar arrays that would give the space station more power. Basically, it's our last big assembly mission. Mike Moses is the Space Shuttle Launch Integration Manager. We have a couple more modules coming, but this one's taken up the fourth uh, solar array power generating truss. And so when it's done, the, the station's gonna look like all the pictures that the artist's conceptions have been over the years. But this mission is about more than just looks. NASA engineers are really excited about the new solar arrays. Power at the space station comes primarily from solar energy. The station's solar array panels contain hundreds of thousands of photovoltaic cells. Sunlight hits these cells and gets converted into electrical current. The electricity can be used immediately or gets stored in rechargeable batteries. When the space station orbits around the dark side of the Earth, away from the sun's rays, the batteries are used. It takes about 90 minutes for the space station to complete one orbit around the Earth. So being able to collect and store energy is vital. The two brand new solar arrays will allow the space station population to grow from three astronauts to six. This adds more than 800 cubic meters of solar harnessing photovoltaic cells all of the solar arrays together will generate up to 120 kilowatts of electricity to power additional life support requirements, waste treatment, and new experiments. So how powerful is 120 kilowatts? Well, a kilowatt is equal to 1,000 watts. And what's a watt? A watt is a unit of power equal to one joule of energy per second. Okay, so now what's a joule? A joule measures the amount of energy it takes to move an object one meter. The 120 kilowatts generated from the space station solar arrays will be enough to take care of six astronauts, powering all their life-sustaining systems. Here on Earth, 120 kilowatts is about what it would take to power 42 homes. Plus, the amount of power dedicated to science projects is now doubled from 15 kilowatts to 30 kilowatts. Installing the solar arrays was a challenge. After docking, they were unloaded. Because of their immense size, the truss and panels are designed to fold in order to fit in the shuttle's cargo bay. Once unfolded, the array was positioned in place with the help of the remote manipulator arm. It took several spacewalks to properly install the array. Both Joe and Ricky, the educators turned astronauts, played a major role in installing the solar arrays at the space station. For Joe, the experience was worlds away from the classrooms at Dunn-Ellen Middle School. Once I got the phone call and was asked if I wanted to come to, to NASA to become an astronaut, there was just no doubt in my mind that an opportunity like that doesn't come very often, and I just knew that it was one that I had to accept, and I'm just very grateful that I did. Astronaut Ricky Arnold went from teaching middle school students in countries like Indonesia and Romania to completing a spacewalk that helped install the solar arrays at the space station. Ricky hopes to inspire his students to someday take up the challenge of space travel, sending humans to the moon, Mars, and beyond. This is gonna be a journey that is made one day, and uh, there's, there's gonna be uh, people all over the world uh, making it happen. And so they just need to be thinking about, what part do I wanna play? It's not just a handful of people doing it, it's thousands of people everywhere. And that dream of sending humans to the moon and Mars is one step closer thanks to the efforts of teachers like Ricky and Joe, who answered the call of space exploration. I think it gives a, a different perspective. You know, most of the folks who work at NASA are engineers by trade, scientists, the, the astronauts come from that same background. They're either academics in, in the medical profession or uh, pilots 
And so to bring someone with a, a different viewpoint, it really kind of gives you a, a different perspective. Ricky Arnold and Joe Acaba show us that math is as relevant in space as it is down here on Earth. Math can take you to places that you would never expect, like the International Space Station and beyond. 